whatever I have in my mind or whatever I have on my mind. What do you write in your notebook? In you sleep? I always write. But I noticed on Facebook why it is written like this. Because whatever we have in our mind, that is not. So that's why it take always on. <coughs> it will not take in. But in conversation, in speaking part, we always say in. Whatever mm. I have in my mind, but whatever I have on my mind, it is the correct one. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. What's about you? I'm also good. So where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Haryana. Okay. My home in law is there in Faridabad. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we are meeting first time. I'm telling about myself first. May I tell? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so um, I'm Preeti and uh, I'm basically from Haryana. My uh, both families, in-laws and maternal, both families are from Haryana. And uh, I'm an English teacher. I have been in teaching profession more than 10 years. And uh, uh, regarding my educational qualification, I have done my MBA, then MA English and beard. And um, I have started my two YouTube channel. One is Easy Way to Learn with Preeti and another one is Easy Way Vlog. Uh, on my first channel, Easy Way to Learn with Preeti, I make videos, upload videos related to NCRT syllabus, some grammar topics. And uh, from last one month, I'm doing this type of conversation uh, with some other learners. And uh, on another channel, I just want to record my memories of life uh, in the form of vlog. Uh, okay. So, in, yes. In, in English or in Hindi? That is uh, in Hindi. Okay. Yeah, I yes. also have two channels. One for vlogging and one for uh, conversation and English content. So, I do the same. Okay. <coughs> hmm. On another channel, I uh, make videos on related to dance and uh, some vlogs. Just for entertaining purpose. Yeah, and I had not been working on that channel for one year. But I have restarted that uh, from yesterday. <laughs> okay. Yes. Hmm. okay. And uh, uh, if I talk about my hobbies, I like listening music, dancing, uh, listening to music, dancing and uh, yoga and exercise. That's all about me. Okay, so tell me uh, one thing I have noticed on Facebook, you know, what is that? Because you are saying you are a teacher of English. So which preposition will come here? Like whatever I have in my mind, whatever uh, you have in your mind or whatever I have on my mind, whatever you have on your mind. So what will come here in or in? In my mind. In my mind? Okay. In my mind. If I, if I tell you that this is not grammatically correct, then what will you say? Who said? If I say to you, like, this is not grammatically correct, then what will you say? <coughs> in and on both are used for place. No. In and on. About knowledge which I have in my mind, or the knowledge which I have on my mind. So which one is correct? In or own? Hmm. Which one is correct? On my mind. In my mind, uh, as I think, in my mind is correct. Okay. okay. When we uh, talk and when we say about ourselves, about others, so we say, usually we say like whatever in my mind, whatever okay. you have in your mind. So we say in, like in, we use in. But uh, on Facebook, it is written that like uh, what's on your mind, not in. So what do you think about it? Why on is correct? Why in is not correct? Grammatical. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tell me. Okay. And um, actually, um, sometimes we write in, in our mind. We In speaking, we use this. <laughs> we write and, preposition, and preposition are changed according to the sense. Uh, according to sentence. Some like, prepositions. Uh, yes. Uh, like example. Uh, what is going in your mind? We uh, generally use this. On, going on, it takes only on, not in. Every time going will take on. So that is different thing. But what's on your mind, what's in your mind. So usually we say, we say 
uh, whatever i have in my mind whatever in my mind whatever you uh, you have in your mind whatever in your mind just speak out we say like this but uh, mm-hmm. when we open facebook so something is written there uh, what's on your mind not what's in your mind so that's why i'm asking you so what do you think about it why it is written there on facebook what's on your mind why not what's in your mind Uh, as i think when we ask to someone uh, that that use this um that time we use this going ask like this what's on your mind no when yes when we uh, ask or talk to someone that time generally we use this what is going what is going in your mind going on this is a phrase going on phrase. Yes, going take, on is the phrase. Going will take on every time, but I'm talking mm-hmm. about what's in your mind. What's in your mind? Just speak out, and whatever I have in my mind. So we usually say in in our conversation. We usually use yes. in, not on. So why not in? Why on? What do you write in your notebook? In usually, I always write in my mind. <laughs> in my, I I also used to. Uh, speak this sentence whatever i have in my mind but i noticed on facebook and i talked to my teacher and he guided me why it is written like this because whatever we have in our mind that is not stable you know uh, when something is stable in uh, in something then we write mm-hmm. in because that is stable but that is not stable our knowledge is not stable we are sharing with someone and we are getting and we are sharing we are spreading our knowledge with uh, uh, with someone or the other person so that's why it take always on <laughs> it will not take in but in conversation in speaking part we always say in whatever mm. i have in my mind but whatever i have on my mind it is the correct one but yes this is not a stable thing that's why we can't use in but in conversation we are habitual so that's why we can use in also <laughs> both are correct in and on yeah you know preposition part like a very confusing part do you also think the same yes ma'am on and sometimes or sometimes according to sentence and topic they changed they the change their meaning change preposition yes yes that's why uh, yesterday not yesterday two days ago i noticed on facebook what's on your mind i noticed that whenever we say what's in your mind whatever you have in your mind what i have in my mind so we never use on so why on is here so i talked with my teacher and he guided me he explained me in a very uh, like a simple way why in and on is here so i got to know everything about on and in <coughs> i think you also have cleared this topic <laughs> yeah thank you <laughs> yes <laughs> tell me more about you <coughs> actually from last one month uh, i just seen one conversation uh, on my youtube channel so uh, i uh, was thinking that time uh, i should also start this type of conversation to uh, you know we are teaching in whenever we are teaching in a private school or in any organization we uh, it happened with me and with so many tutors we are teaching english just as a subject but yeah. uh, uh, yes at many places we are not using this language uh, as a uh, spoken language like we have to use it so uh, to enhance my speaking uh, i uh, was uh, thinking like i have to do this type of conversation with different tutors and learners so uh, uh, i have started this uh, these type of conversation only uh, before one and a half month okay and i am feeling this uh, yes it is good for me yes it is good for others also and it, it is good for us also because by doing this while doing this we can improve ourselves also we can improve we can get the fluency in our communication so it is very good otherwise if we are doing this that's why we are getting chance to connect with people otherwise we don't have this type of opportunity to connect with people and use the language in daily life so this is good idea you know yes ma'am definitely true and uh, uh, and now they have full ac- uh, accent they are using their accent of english after 2 3 years um, so uh, as i think we will also improve our english and definitely yes, we will 
yes we are not at the beginning level we are at the uh, as i think in my opinion na i don't to prefer accent i don't mind like my accent is what and your accent is what i don't care about accent accent yeah, is important for me uh yeah communication is important if you are getting my point if i am making you understand that is okay for me you know yes otherwise what, which accent you are using i will not care about that <laughs> yeah same same ma'am how are you feeling well and i have a cold and uh, my face is swelling nowadays my eyes is also swelling i have fever cough cold everything but still i am sitting here and talking to you so <coughs> because you have been telling me continuously for many days i want to connect with you i want to connect so that's why i thought <coughs> i thought this oh, is a i, I, I connect with you take, yes mommy you should take medicine and take rest <coughs> that's why i am not connecting with people nowadays i will connect after holy you know okay yes you are not feeling better and uh, your voice is also you are you are feeling pain in your throat as i think <coughs> yes okay dear so it was nice conversation with you and this is enough for today okay we will connect again and we will make another video <coughs> on friday to sunday you can connect any time after 2 o'clock you can connect with me but in weekdays na i teach online so i don't get time i get time only uh, like between 12:30 to uh, 2:30 only so if you have time at this time then you can connect with me easily otherwise uh, on weekend you can connect yeah 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 ma'am after 2:30 you can connect me any day <coughs> i will send you test once again first you take rest after uh, your good health we will connect again my um, i'm not looking good ya kitni moti no, no, you, you are very pretty no problem is there in your face but your throat I, as i think you are feeling pain in your throat so first take rest yeah surely <laughs> okay bye bye take care hey, i i i i forgot to ask your name what's your name komal i think no no preeti my name is preeti okay okay sorry <laughs> okay preeti bye bye take care